The Ngorongoro Crater is one of the world's most amazing natural wonders and it's the best place in Tanzania to see the Big Five. The crater is a large, unbroken, unflatted volcanic caldera. The crater formed when a giant volcano exploded and collapsed onto itself some 2-3 to three million years ago and it's 2,000 feet deep and its floor covers 100 square miles. There are approximately 25,000 large animals that live inside the crater and it has the highest density of mammal predators in Africa. The crater has the densest known population of lions, numbering 62 in 2001. When seen at a distance, the serval looks a little like a small cheetah, though its long legs, large ears and short tail are distinctive. They are primarily a nocturnal species, and servals are solitary animals, just like leopards. They are usually seen high-stepping through long grass in search of food, like we saw here, and though primarily terrestrial, will climb trees to escape danger. They employ their large ears to help them locate prey hidden in the grass and are exceptionally quick and agile. They curl up in the long grass or at the base of small bushes to rest during the day and are so well camouflaged that they are almost impossible to detect. Lions are the exception among the cat family in that they are social, with adult males and females living together in groups called prides. The core of each pride is a number of closely related females and their cubs, so here it's probably three sisters lying down together. Lionesses are the ones who pretty much do all the work as they do most of the hunting and while the females hunt, the pride males ensure the integrity of the territory, thereby helping to create optimum conditions for the lionesses to rear their cubs. Lions spend 16 to 20 hours a day resting, usually in a shady place, and the day we were at the crater, early in the morning, the sun wasn't shining yet, so we got to see them lying around in the grass. A lioness usually has her first litter of cubs when she's 3 to 4 years old, thereafter producing a new litter of 2 to 4 cubs once every 2 years if the cubs survive. Small cubs are invariably killed by the new males, thereby ensuring that the lionesses quickly come into ostrus again, allowing the new males to sire their own cubs rather than investing their time protecting the offspring of the previous pride males. But this is the exception in the Ngorongoro crater. The side effect of this enclosure is that the population of Ngorongoro lions is significantly inbred, with many genetic problems passed from generation to generation. This is due to the very small amount of new bloodliness that enter the local gene pool, as very few migrating male lions enter the crater from the outside. Those who do not enter the crater are often prevented from contributing to the gene pool by the crater's male lions, who, because of their large size, the result of an abundant and constant food source, easily expel any outside competitors. Animal populations in the crater include most of the species found in East Africa, but there are no impalas, giraffes or crocodiles. All of the lions that we saw looked very, very healthy and female lions live up to 20 years old and males only up to 12 years old. Lions are capable of overpowering a wide variety of herbivores including wild beasts, zebras, topi, hartbeast, warthogs, buffaloes, giraffes, impalas and gazelles. Lions usually kill their prey by strangulations, though very large animals such as buffaloes are suffocated by one of the lions clamping its jaws over the animal's mouth and nose. When plenty of food is available, Lions gorge themselves, with males eating up to 90 pounds on an empty stomach, while lionesses can consume 60 pounds. This is 45 times their average daily requirement and is an adaptation to a feast or famine regime. Predators can never be sure of when they will next eat.
Next, we saw a wild beast really up close. Their lifespan is 12 years and the wild beast is basically a bearded antelope and both sexes have horns. This is the Grey Crowned Crane and it's Uganda's national symbol. It's one of the most beautiful and majestic birds in Africa. This elegant bird moves in grace in a most stately manner with a very dignified gait. If you see the Grey Crowned Crane in flight, it is simply beautiful to behold with its slow down strokes of the wings, followed by quick flying upward strokes. These crested cranes, they mate for life and they keep their relationship together. The grey crowned crane is about 3.3 feet tall and weighs about 7.7 .7 pounds. The elephant is unmistakably the largest land mammal. Male elephants weigh almost twice as much as females and have a more rounded forehead and heavier and longer tusks. Females have a pointed forehead. Tusks are upper incisors which become visible at 2-3 to three years of age and continue to grow throughout an elephant's life. The record length of a tusk along the curve is 11 feet 6 inches and the record weight of a single tusk is 235 pounds. This elephant only had one tusk, he probably lost it during a fight. As I previously mentioned in my last videos, hippos are usually found in groups of 10 to 20 females and their young together with a territorial male who has exclusive breeding rights with all the females. Did you know that hippo skin is 2 inches thick, which is 5 centimeters? And apart from whales and dolphins, hippos are the only mammals to mate in the water. The name hippopotamus is derived from a Greek word meaning river horse. Then here we had our picnic right on the crater floor. It was so beautiful and it was a really great place for a picnic. There was even a local school that was having a field trip right on the crater floor with us. I loved the way all the children were wearing uniforms. The girls were wearing blue skirts and the boys beige shorts. <laughs> 